Welcome to the 3D Smart Piping Design software. Let's do a quick demo. Double click the 3D Modeler icon to start the software. In the Project Manager dialog box, select the project to create a new design. For this demo, we'll use the Twin Lakes project. Click on Design, click Create, enter a file name, select the specs to use, and then select Finish to create and open the design. On the left side of the screen, you will see the 3D Smart Toolbox and the Components menu bar. In the lower left corner are the Active Settings, Spec, and Line Number. Let's look at the included modules. Under ANSI Piping, you will see ASME Piping, Equipment, PVC, Shared Components, and Structural Steel. On our toolbox, you'll see commands, features, and settings of the 3D modeling software. Let's start this demo by creating a vertical vessel. So we'll set it to equipment and we'll pick shell cylinder. Picking vertically, we'll create a vertical vessel. Picking horizontally, we'll get a horizontal vessel. We're gonna go vertically and we'll put in a value of 12 feet. The dialog box shows up for the shell cylinder. Values in red must be input. We'll add 36 inches for the outside diameter, 34 inches for the inside diameter. So there's the shell cylinder. We'll take a quick look and shade it. Now we'll add the heads. We'll pick elliptical heads, two to one. And you'll notice connection cones. These cones allow us to easily select where the component will go. Select the top cone and you will see the values in the dialog box. The head is added. Select the command again and pick the lower cone. This will put the head on the bottom of the vessel. Click OK. Let's add a skirt to the bottom of the vessel. Pick the skirt tool, pick the bottom head. The dialog box will show up. Again, values in red need to be input. So we'll add the 30 inches for the height and 44 inches for the base diameter. And then click OK. And there's our skirt. Again, we'll take a look at shaded. Take a look from the top view. front view, and then back to an isometric view. Let's set it back to a wireframe for the next part. Let's add a four inch raised face nozzle. Select the tool, select the center line of the vessel as a reference, and we can reference our distances either from the bottom or S to switch to reference from the top. We'll reference from the bottom, and we'll include a value of eight feet from the bottom of the vessel. Select the 150 pound rating, Select the four inch size. In the dialog box, it'll show you all the possible values. We'll take the default, click OK. And the nozzle appears on the vessel. By clicking in any direction, we can change the location. Let's zoom up on the nozzle and take a closer look. Let's set it now to the ANSI piping. And we'll change our spec to A spec, which is 150 pound. And we'll also set our line tag. Now we'll select the flange. Let's turn on the auto rotate feature. This automates the component placement. Now we can add a gasket. Notice the red cone. There will be a mismatch because of the none spec and 150 pound. Click continue to proceed. Adding components is very easy. Select the Weld neck flange, it is automatically added. We can add the flange bolts. Select OK, and the bolts are added. Let's add some fittings. Select the fittings tool, pick the 90 degree elbow, and it is automatically added. Pick on screen the direction you would like it to run, enter to accept the direction. Add a piece of pipe, drag down, we'll go back down eight feet, get it near the bottom of the vessel bottom of this piece of pipe, let's put in another elbow. Again, on screen, select the direction you want the elbow to go. Let's add a gate valve to our system. Pick the valve tool, set the autocomplete valve set to include two flanges and a valve. 
Then select the gate valve. Component is placed, we can change the rotation of the valve so it's accessible from the top. Add the bolts, and the complete set is put in. And then add another piece of pipe. And we'll give it a distance of three feet. We can now add another elbow. This time we'll point it up. And then we'll add another length of pipe. This time we'll put in a dimension of two feet. And let's look at putting in a reducer. The size dialog box will show up. We'll pick a four by three. And then we'll finish off our piping sample by adding a straight T. And again, pick the direction you want the branch run to go. So there's our piping run. Let's add a base support. Go to shared components. Let's turn off our spec back to none spec. So we have access to all the components. Pick our base support tool. Select the 90 degree out where we would like it to be attached. Pick the size. All the values are shown. Select OK. And there's our base support. So there's a look from the front view. Isometric. And we'll shade it just to give it a more realistic look. Please note, the next portion of the demo shows how isometrics can be created directly from the 3D model. This requires additional software, Isogen, sold separately by Intergraph Corporation. Let's look at creating an isometric from our 3D model. Select the isometric generation tool to open the 3D Smart Wizard. In the dialog box, select the line number to create the isometric from. Data is shown, click Next, click Finish to see the actual isometric. Let's zoom in on it. This will show you all the components and dimensional data extracted directly from the model. And a quick look at the material list, and there's our ISO. We can close this off, takes us back to our model, click Save, File, then exit. It's that easy.